Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you see a given figure. And we have reproduced the given figure on our drawing sheet, which is what we are looking at. Now, this is the isometric projection of the given figure, and this is the orthographic projection in first angle of the given figure. We are told to take this side as our point of reference. So when we are looking at this side, the question is, what are we going to see? Now, looking from this side, right, we are seeing this given shape, one dimension, because the isometric projection is a three-dimensional figure, right, inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. So, you know, so we look in orthographic projection, we take a look at each of the dimension. Now, we are considering this dimension because of that, we say this will be our front elevation. We are looking from the top, we see is our plan. We are looking from the front, we see is our what? End view, right? Remember, your front elevation and your end view can interchange in depending on the question. Sometimes in my point here, I tell you, take here to be your front elevation. So if here is your front elevation, automatically this side will be your end view. The part that doesn't change is the plan. The plan always remain, remain the plan no matter the direction that is being taken. Now, if we look from here, right, we are going to see this given figure here. So looking from here means that what? You only focus on this dimension. You see this arc here, which is this arc here. You will not see what is on top of it. Is that okay now? Because this and this part here and all this line you see, they are on the same line. That is why you are only seeing just one line because they are overlapping each other. Now, the circle you see here is this circle you see. Now, a cylinder or what I say, a peak, uh, a, 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 a thing that is cylindric in nature will be seen as a straight line. The side of a circular figure will be seen as what? As a straight line. The side of a circular figure, look at the top here, this curve you see here, you see it as what? As a straight line. That's what we're using here as what? As a straight line. Now, the hidden line you see in here is the part you cannot see when you're looking from this direction. You cannot see this circular figure and it's the true. That is why I'm using the internet to show that what it is or true. Now, this is the web here, which is this you see in here. It moves from, it moves from this top to this part here which is from here to here you cannot see the two line because this first line is overlapping the other line so you cannot see both of them now this line too and this line are overlapping each other so this is going to block this that's why you're only seeing just one single line all together now now to be seen the side of the curve as a straight line the side of the curve as a straight line that's what we have here now you cannot see this inner part here, right? And this is the highest point of the inner part. So we we'll use hidden line to signify that there's something in between this figure here. So if I should say that this is A, automatically this is my A. If I should call this side to be my B, automatically here will be my B. If I say yes, should be my C, automatically here will be C, then all this side here should be E. Automatically, all this side of the world will be E. Is that the key? And the cylinder you see now, I can call it F. I mean, everything you see, it is what F, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to see the step by step construction of this figure in um, autographic production, you have to click on this link that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen here to take you to a place where you can draw this. The way I drew this, you'll be able to access that particular video. Now, still still turn. Don't leave yet. Now, we want to draw the section of this figure, which we are coming into, just for you to understand how we got this. 
Now the same thing if you're looking from the plan, you'll be seeing all this, just only one dimension. Is that the key? So let's just move. Now the question now says, and if you still want to construct this in isometric projection, right? You can also click on the link that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen. Now our today's topic is sectioning, right? I just deviated to just show you how I got this. Now the question is, if I should cut this figure into two halves, right? What will I see? That means I'm sectioning it into two halves, removing one part. So you'll be seeing a cutting plane like this. You'll be seeing a cutting plane this way. I have this. You'll be seeing a cutting plane this way. So we are cutting it looking at this direction here. So when you cut it, you look at the side. Similarly here, you will be looking at the side here. Right? Now, if I cut this figure, right, this is what I'm going to see. Now, so this is what we have, right? When you section it, you cut it into two, this is what you'll be seeing. So meaning that all the parts my cutting plane touches. You know there was a space in between, so my cutting plane is not touching the side here, right? So I am not going to section here. Is that the key now? I will not section here, I will leave it. So my cutting plane is cutting here. Which is this part it cut. So because of that, I'm going to section that part this way. Because my cutting plane touch that particular point. Even it also it also touch all this part too here. So I will section here also. All these parts, I'll section them where my cutting plane touches. Right, because it cuts through here, all this part it touches it. But now there's a space in between my figure. If you check the figure very well, you can look from here. There's what a space in between my cutting plane cuts all this part, it cuts. I will section it aside from the web here. I will not section this part where well, there's a true here, meaning that my cutting plate did not touch any of this figure, there's already a hole there. So that's why I will not section this part. So, all this part here, I will not section it. Is that the key? Neither will I section this part because my cutting plane did not touch all those parts. So, now this is nobody will ask you to do this. It is because of my explanation, I am doing that for you. So this is where you are going to what? Implement it because we want to draw the sectional elevation. So when I'm doing that, I'll be having something like this. Use your 45 degrees square, right? And you start sectioning. 
So if I do that, I'll have all this place sectioned. I'm going to remove section all these parts you see here. Is that the key? So I'll remove this line here, you see. So let me remove that. So I have done that, so I'll just section it using 45 degree as what I did here. So I'll leave it evenly distributed. Using for twelve degrees a square. Right. So this is what we will be having. Here is free. Our cutting head did not touch it because of the hole in between. So we only cut here, which is why we section on this part. But we did not cut here, that's why we would not section this part. Right. Now we only cut here, that is why we section this part, and we cut all this part. That's why we section all this part here. You will not section the web here. Is that the key now? So this is the sectional what? Sectional elevation. If you cut the figure the way I just showed you. Is that the key? So this is what you are asked to do if you are told to draw the sectional elevation looking from this side. This is what you should just do. So if you have found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to share the video. Thanks for watching.